Action, beef fan, trying fatty tuna, aka Toro. Is it the best sushi you've ever had? Well, in terms of raw fish, it doesn't stand out that much. What? <laughs> Yeah. It looks the marbling on that. The marbling on that looks really good. Mm -hmm. You try one. Okay, we're getting into it. Alright guys, it's been a long time since I've had Toro, aka Fatty Tuna. And it's our birthday, so we're splurging a little bit. I gotta give a shout out to my main man Elijah. Let's get into it. What is that sauce? Just look at the marbling on this thing. Holy moly. Let's get into it. It's pretty good. I will say, it's not as good as the one I had in SF though. So, maybe be is right. This fatty tuna, not top, top tier. It's still really, really good though. You take a bite of it, and the fish literally just melts in your mouth. I just wish there was more, I guess, I don't know, tuna flavor. It just tastes kind of like, it's really oily. But that's what you're adding this for. So that melts in your mouth oily, the oily flavor, but it's not the best fatty tuna I've had. So it's like, kind of got like that tuna flavor. I'm gonna mess around and give this fatty tuna. Well, I'm, I'm, gonna, be a, I'm gonna be a bit harsh here because I've had legit, really good fatty tuna in in SF. And this was $27 for three pieces. I'm gonna get a three and a half out of five. Still pretty good, but not the best fatty tuna I've had. So since I've had better ones, I was slightly disappointed. All right. I'm gonna continue my review on here. Take um, that back. You the, take it back. The texture is really good. Yeah. My, I don't know. Well, it's better when dip with sushi, dip with soy sauce. Yeah, exactly. You want to eat this with soy sauce, so give it a little dip. That's true. Hmm. Better when eating with soy sauce. Highly recommended to eat it with soy sauce. All right, so some of you guys might know, I have a C1 Kaching, so to honor her, I got some shrimp balls. These are not at all what I expected when I ordered the shrimp balls. It looks like it's a lot of um, imitation crab in here. Let's get into it. It's pretty good. The outer layer is shrimp tempura, but there's just a ton of imitation crab inside. So if you like imitation crab, it's good for you. But to me, it's just not what I expected. So I'm going give it a eh, 3 out of 5. Um, it reminds me a lot of the monkey brain from, um, from Kenzo Sushi. It's pretty good. Just not what I expected. Finally, I'm gonna try my um, roll here. This is the um, ultimate shrimp roll. So you got shrimp on the inside, shrimp on the outside. And that's basically it, let's get into it. Maybe a little cross section here. Mm. I really like that there's raw shrimp on the outside. It's really nice. And you got that crunch of the shrimp tempura on the inside. Overall, a great roll. I will say, um, a little bit too much sauce for my liking, but it's pretty good. Oh, chicken karaage. Let's take some. Okay. Can I try some? Yeah. I don't know if you took the perilla leaf, but the perilla leaf with the tuna is really good. Is that the, um, oh, the leaf? It's not the onions, right? No. Okay. Can you pass the, um, give them the, uh, the, sh the shrimp balls? Chicken karage. I've had this before. It comes in a really cute basket. 
I like it more than the one in uh, Monterey, actually. The other one had like too much of like a smoked salmon flavor. Oh, y'all went to y'all went to sushi at Monterey. Yeah, I totally forgot. Caught a little bit of that. You like oh, this? Yeah. You like this place, Bill? I thought this seemed the most appealing to me. Mm -hmm. No sauce, like. straightforward. <laughs> No, it's okay. Yeah, unfortunately, sushi is not the best pick for Paymon, but we picked this place um, in regards for the, the birthday boy's taste, so Paymon got a little bit shafted. <laughs> what do you think about the food here, uh, Chris? Do you remember we were sitting there by the water? It's good. Good? Small portion, but... That's just Japanese food in general. Yeah. And then... Well, it's good quality. Nice. Michael with the humongous the <laughs> mm -hmm. This thing is pretty good, man. Look at these chunks, man. Look oh. how big they are. Oh yeah. They're very substantial. And this is fresh wasabi. It's uh so much better than the fake paste. <laughs> you got like the thick cut sashimi. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. Alright Andy, what do you think about this place? I'm jumping in my belt and walking in my Not bad? Not bad? It's pretty good. Nice. What about this uh, basket karaage? It's alright. <laughs> it's just a cool presentation, but... Yeah. Alright. Elijah? Toro here? It's mid. Yeah, that's what I thought too. It's mid. Yeah. But thanks for, thanks for treating us. I remember this. I'm waiting for my dish. Oh yeah, you didn't yeah, get it yet. Uh, huh. well, maybe we'll interview you later. Yeah. Better about the box. Nah. Um, they, they have to cook it, right? Yeah, I guess they so. It, so. I'm gonna take another one of these. Alright, B. How'd you like Kenji Sushi? I had a I had a popcorn langoustine. You may say popcorn langoustine? Yes. Okay, let me double check for you, okay? It's acceptable. This place is acceptable? What do you like better, this place or the place we went to last time? Sushi, Sushi boat. boat. This has better atmosphere. Okay, nice. As far as a a night on drinking scenario. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's gonna be the review of um, Kenji Sushi here, close to Valley Fair and Santana Row. Um, the food here overall is like pretty good, so would recommend. Um, all right, been your main man wing drops. We're done here. Hi, I'm very sorry, but this video, this guy who makes video sucks. It's a solid six out of ten. Yo, Andy, basically. Subscribe. Subscribe, and subscribe, like the video, yes, my share friend. it, and subscribe. Yo, like and subscribe to Wing Rocks, alright? Hey, that's pretty good.